Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds and it will be for the vacant Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Robin Smith, timekeeper, Barry Pinder. Our three judges, all from England, scoring on a 10-point must system will be Phil Edwards, Steve Gray, and Bob Williams. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Michael Alexander of England. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing white with blue and weighed in at 12 stone, four pounds. Coming to us from Accra, Ghana, he brings a professional record consisting of 14 wins, two defeats, one draw, with 12 of his 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emmanuel, the horsepower, Aneem. His opponent across the ring in this championship contest, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with green and weighed in at 12 stone, six pounds. Hailing from Mostyn, Manchester, England, he is undefeated with 15 wins. 12 of his 15 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lyndon King Arthur. Right, lads, you both know the rules, so let's just have a good clean fight, okay? Most of all, we're to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Crush gloves, keep it clean. Two punches. And Lyndon Arthur choosing not to touch gloves, but uh, deliver a, a little gentle right-hander to the body. He's already ahead. <laughs> They're both punches, these guys. Nine wins inside two rounds, Arthur. Six inside the first. I mean, never been stopped. Eight wins inside three rounds. They can bang. Lyndon Arthur's never really been put under any sort of massive pressure as a pro in his undefeated career. So if uh, if A. Neem can find a way of getting in with some big shots, it's going to tell us a little bit. Yeah, of course it is, you know, but he's looked good in, in all his wins, but he, has, he hasn't really been massively tested yet, Arthur, but this might be a test for him, but he's in with a punch, and I know he can punch himself, but I still think, you know, to be solid and be strong in that centre of the ring, but as he's doing now, a little bit just a little bit cautious, use that jab and see... You see what, what this guy's all about. Lyndon Arthur, very much a role model to the youngsters of Mostyn. Tough estate on the north side of Manchester. He knows all about what street life can be. His big brother, Zenan, shot and killed near the Collyhurst and Mostyn gym back in 2002. And I think Lyndon, of course, carries that and... He wants to succeed not only for his community but also for his brother. But here comes Aneem straight away, putting him under pressure here in this opening round, and he's going looking for him. Well, the first right hand that Aneem threw, threw was a fantastic shot. I think that really shook up Arthur, and he followed it up there with a couple of other right hands. Couldn't really get a clean shot with the left hook though there, Aneem, but just showing that he does carry a bit of power. And and Arthur has to be well aware of that. And a bit of belief. Aneem said at the press conference that he was going to prove a little bit of a point when Lyndon Arthur said, I've not seen much of him, he's not fought anybody. And he said, oh, yes, I have. And you're going to find out at first hand. Lyndon Arthur needs to get that jab going. He's got a quality left-hand lead, not really utilising it so far. Yeah, well, he, he's, he's just, he didn't want to get countered with a, a right-hand over the top, and I understand that, but what he's doing is he's just edging back and putting himself in, in, in the corners or against the ropes. Let's be careful, you see it here now. Just edging back a little bit. And now this is where Aneem wants him, and he attacks. Oh, my nice the cut there, though, from Arthur. Good shot. It's more like it. Aneem has got some physique on him, hasn't he? Yeah, he's short and stocky, isn't he? 
Well, the muscle stands around about five foot eleven against Lyndon Arthur's six foot two, and he's every inch of six foot two. It looks, looks taller to me, but he's going looking for him again here. Aneem heads going in. He just caught with a nice little long left hook there, didn't he? Aneem missed with the right hand lead, but the left hook was a decent shot. Well, interesting opening round. And again with the right hand there from Anim. And Arthur taking more shots in that opening three minutes, maybe, than he has done in his whole professional career. And remember, Anim has never been stopped. Interestingly, the president of the Ghanaian Boxing Federation sitting right beside me here at ringside, Peter Zvenez, and unsurprisingly, he was very excited in that opening <laughs> three minutes. I thought I was the president when you said sat next to you for a minute. <laughs> Showed his uh, ability, though, Aneem, the fact that he lost on points to... Umar Salamov, the Russian yeah. who was ranked in the top ten, and Salamov... Well, decent fighter beat Bob Adjusaf on yes. points, you know, I mean, he's, he's, no, he's no slouch, and uh, Aneem gave him a real fight. Well, he's so, he's so short, that's, that plays to his advantage, because he goes, you just see there, he, when he stalks and comes forward, he gets nice and low, just makes him hard to hit clean. See, as you, as you see here there, Arthur, just a left hook glancing over the top of the head there of Aneem. Aneem fought the early part of his career as a, as a super middleweight. Arthur will want to ride out this early storm and try and employ those trademark combinations and big uppercuts. I just think he's flicking out the jab. I just, for me, I just think he needs to just maybe step a little bit behind it, get a little bit more weight on it. Just to give Anim something to think about when that catches him, you know, aim for, don't even aim for the chin, aim for the chest. Because he's going to dip low anyway, and he might catch him on the chin, but just to stop him in his tracks. Comes from Accra, of course, Anim. As uh, seemingly just about every boxer from Ghana who's ever laced up the gloves <laughs> does. This is for the vacant title. And a real, you could say it's a step up in class for Arthur because he's never been beyond oh. six rounds. Good left hand there from Anim. That's a nice body shot there though from Arthur. And he's just settling into the fight a little, isn't he? He's relaxing a bit. Arthur, that is. I don't think, honest, I don't think relaxes. The problem with him, I think he's a little bit too lax. I think he needs to get a little bit more. More conservative for that jab and just push just push it out a little bit more, a little bit faster, a little bit more of a step with the front foot, and just get a little more purchase on the shot. Well, much closer round. Aneem clearly winning the first, second one closer. How did you have that second round, Barry? It was a closer one. It was. I, I just, I just give, give it to Anim. I think when he when he did attack, I think there's just been more quality in his in, in the shots that he landed with. But it was close. I, I just thought a lot of the jabs from from Arthur. There wasn't really too much weight on him, and I'm not sure if all of them were landing. But for me, I just think he's given away too much ground and, and sort of put himself in, in, in positions he doesn't need to be in, and that allows Anim to, you know, ha he, he puts himself on the ropes and allows Anim to attack him. Bob Williams, Steve Gray and Phil Edwards, the judges for this one. Aneem again on the front foot, forcing the action, trying to bully Arthur. And he gets in with a solid right hand, chopping right. He's taken a few too many of those, Lyndon Arthur. He's, he's, he's taken a well, to be fair, but I just think up close there, he's not really... Not really learned, maybe, how to fight inside, though, it doesn't seem that way, but maybe with the shorter guys finding it a little bit more difficult, maybe. But a little close like this, and he's allowed to, to get enough space 
Perhaps saw to, Frank, to throw the shots over the top. I saw Frank Warren, his promoter, saying to Lyndon Arthur, use the jab, and that's what Pat Barrett was saying. Time up, stifle these attacks, as he is doing here, but also get that jab working. Yeah, well, he, he's throwing it. I just don't think... I think he needs a little bit more weight on it, that's all. That's better there from, from Arthur. Rather than just stand there, he just took a little pivot off after he threw that combination. Missed with the left hook, so he took, just took a different angle off, didn't catch anything coming back. He is a ruthless oh, finish. Good, oh, left good left hand from Aimeen again. Aimeen again. I was just about to say, Arthur is a ruthless finisher when he gets his man going, but no chink in the armour of Aimeen so far. Heads going in a little bit, and uh, referee Michael Alexander just uh, having a quiet word with Aneem. Well, it'd be Aneem's fault because he's the one coming forward, but it, before the heads clashed, he just caught into the right hand. I think Aneem's cut as well over the right eye. You're right, he is. Nice uppercut there from Arthur. Now, how badly that is affected, I'm not sure if it was... A, I assume it was a clash of heads, Barry. Well, yeah, he, he charged him with his, with his head, didn't he, there, didn't he? Well, nobody will see that more clearly than Lyndon Arthur, the Ghanaian right in front of him, and he'll see the damage to that eye. A cut along the eyebrow, I think. We'll have a little break at the end of the round, but we'll certainly take a closer look at that damage such as it is and you can see it there blood around the right eye as he dabs uncomfortably but maybe another round to a knee so problems for kofi ricketts in that corner he'll be having to work on the cut from now on oh, good right hand left took there from the knee say problems as well plenty of them for lyndon arthur Oh, can't be doing that. Hanging off the back of his neck there, Aneem. Strong guy, isn't he? I should imagine you know about it when he hangs off the back of your <laughs> neck. Better there from Arthur. He, he takes those little, little steps back, the really little, little small steps, and it is to make space for to, to, that to draw you onto that right hand, but he hasn't been doing it until just, just now, the first time really he's had any success. Needs to get some rounds under his belt, does Lyndon Arthur. The judges have got it the same way as Barry. He is behind on the cards. That's better from Arthur. Again, on the back of the neck there, pulling him down. There was no, no panic there from Arthur, but he put himself into trouble, just went back in straight lines, too many steps. Both of them trying to open up here, and you can see the blood flowing that's again. Another, that's another cut. And that one, I think, was caused by a punch. Slashing right hand. It's a good right hand there from Arthur. That's a punch going forward. Try and push him back with the jab. Just a little bit more urgency in the work of Arthur is needed here. I'm not sure Aneem has suffered cut problems in the past. Certainly when I was talking to him at the press conference earlier in the week, no, sane, no sense of any scar tissue around his eyes, so he might be in new territory here. Missing with our little attack there, Aneem. Good task, good shot. Oh, good shot. Great right hand from Arthur. And we talked about his punch power, and he has produced a classic right hand. And I think the fight, well, I thought for a moment he wasn't going to get up. He took his time. He says to the referee, I'm OK. But that has absolutely turned the fight around. And Lyndon Arthur now, here in the fourth round, is looking to finish it. Last few seconds, 
The bell might save Aneem for now, but this has put Lyndon Arthur right back into the fight after a rocky opening. That is a huge fourth round. And the referee, I think, is saying there's a bit too much grease to try and staunch the flow of blood around the face. It's not a bad idea, actually. Put loads of grease on the fighter's face. The referee got to take him back to the corner and gets an extra 10 seconds rest. Well, a fight on now, and it might be that the tide has turned. Certainly looked that way, Barry. It does, but I, it, I just think, no, no, he has to keep the, the momentum coming forward, keep pushing this guy back now. He's looking to time the perfect shot, and I understand that, because he has that power. But you don't want to be giving rounds away, or even making him close now. You know, I think you've got to... See, you make you, you know this guy to come forward with momentum like that, and he, he darts him with these attacks of three and four punches, and picks up some points. Yeah, and crashed in with his head again, didn't he? That's a good right hand there from Arthur, just chopping down with it. There's always that free sense of excitement with a genuine big puncher, and Lyndon Arthur is most definitely that. Aneem trying to be the aggressor, though, trying to carry the fight to Arthur. Good uppercut inside there from the Ghanaian. To be fair, I think Arthur just rolled that shot. Oh, nice uppercut though back there from Arthur. I think he just took the sting out of it by leaning back in time. Key stage of the fight. Arthur needs to, having established dominance through that one cracking right hand, he needs to build on it from a British perspective, of course, in this Commonwealth Light Heavyweight title. See, Aneem's happy to take the shot or take him on the gloves, and he fires back. As soon as Arthur throws a shot or the two punches, he just jumps all over him, as we're seeing here. So Arthur needs to throw and take a step to the side, keep changing the angle all the time. Joshua Blatz, who was shot. born in Ghana. But uh, I think, I think Aeneem is potentially going to be the first Commonwealth light heavyweight champion, if he can win it. Oh. If it's a big if. Oh, good good right hand. Took it well, though, Aeneem. Oh, good, good, nice little one-two there from Arthur. Just remember the move his feet after he throws, because you know Aeneem's going to throw back. Good learning fight for Arthur if he comes through this one. Showing his bull-like strength again here, Aneem on the front foot. Clubbing away at Lyndon Arthur. Good shot there again from Arthur. Timing those counters with that right hand a little bit better now in this round. Interesting round. So after five rounds on Barry's card, he's got it dead level. Again, between rounds, Pat Barrett imploring Arthur to really establish that jab. Good right hand there from Aneem. As half of them. Every time he's on the ropes, he gets caught with a shot. And I think there he was squared up there and not much weight on the shot from Aneem, but it's still a scoring punch. Sixth round here. Lyndon Arthur, of course, many times in the gym will have done more than six rounds, but in a competitive fight, this is as far as he's ever gone. But it has, it Aneem, by way of contrast, has twice gone 12 rounds. Yeah, but it hasn't been a frantic pace, so I think it, I think Arthur will be... He looks quite relaxed still. I think he's wasted that much energy trying to pick it, be economical with his shots. Maybe too economical. He really does launch with those overhand shots, and each time he's coming in with his head. But they get it, the attacks of Aneem are getting more and more scrappier, though, and, and, and less effective. Fatigue. Maybe. 
Or maybe just Arthur is finding a way to make it more his fight. Ooh, not far off there no, with that right hand. Close. That's the one he's looking for, that right hand counter. That was the one that put Aneem down in the fourth round. He scored the last round to Arthur, yeah? Yeah, I did, yeah. I think Aneem, I, you know, he was trying to come forward, except for the first part of the round. I don't think he was effective enough. I think he was being timed with the right hands off Arthur quite, the, quite well. Arthur just waiting for Aneem to commit himself. Aneem trying to make it into a bit of a brawl. The referee having to be a strong man. Done a decent job in the corner with those cuts. Yeah, they have. See here again the work rate of Aneem seems to have dropped for whatever reason here in the sixth. It has oh nice little right hand there from Aneem. Partially blocked. It's been a close round though, doesn't it? Neither one's had massive success. Might have edged that one to uh, Lyndon Arthur. <laughs> Pat Barrett, a very good fighter himself back in the day. Still looks as though he could be a bit of a handful yeah. now. <laughs> Into the second half of the fight. And there's how you've got it, Barry. Still close. But that big right hand in the fourth round. That was uh, so far, I guess, the defining point of the fight. Arthur's looked a different man there after. He, he has been. But he's still giving away too much ground for me here again. Now, he has to go back there when, when, when Anine's coming forward, but if he's the guy pushing him back with a solid jab, it's harder for Anine to, to, to launch those attacks. Bit of a mouse underneath the right eye of Arthur. A little bit of swelling. Getting a bit messy here in the seventh. Good at the cut there from Arthur. Didn't quite connect to the chin there. Didn't want the chest of a knee. Good shot. He's got real power, genuine power in that right hand. I'll tell you what, the Aneem took that really well. Aneem missing with just about everything there. Oh, good content as well there from Arthur. And again, good right hand. Tough fight, this one. There's a minute to go, and Aneem hasn't really been able to hit the tag, has he? It's not going to help his cause either, push him with the inside of the glove. There you go, land with a shot there, Aneem. Just finding it difficult to find a way through that tight defence there of Aneem. That's better. That's a lovely jab. Just brought that right foot forward, squared himself up after. But this punch was a good shot. Just the movement after, not so good. Well, Arthur just continuing to edge things for me. Seven rounds gone now. Slow to come out in the corner. 
He's going to want some of that grease taken away off the face, I'm pretty sure of that. Well, away we go, into the eighth. And Arthur just edging further ahead, Barry giving him that last round as well. If I would have known that putting too much grease on your, on your face before every round would give you an extra 10 seconds rest, I would have been chucking my head in a tub of Vaseline. I'm not sure how low that was. No, he's going to gonna take his time. Get up, says the referee. It wasn't on the belt at best, I think, for that. I don't think Michael Alexander really having it. <laughs> no, you see, I think he thinks that Amy Aneem was uh, milking that for all it was worth. Using, I think what Jamie says, right, and what, what Pat's been saying in the corner, what we've been saying in many ways, a bit more assertive with the jab has been, been able to allow him to set up the attacks a bit and be a bit more, more confident and give him more space to throw that right hand. And I think he's gonna put, he, he could have been pushing him back with it from earlier. Caught a left hand there, though, Arthur. Took it well. But Aneem still trying to bully him, bully him around. And protests from Arthur about Aneem coming in low and using his head in the process. Nice uppercut there from Aneem. He's found just one of those real... Tr oh, good shot. Left hand from Aneem. And Arthur leaning on here, but he's the one who's taking punches, and he almost went down there. Only the ropes looked as though they kept Arthur up, and he's under tremendous pressure here. Aneem knows it, and still more than a minute to go in this eighth round, and the Ghanaian is really going for it. Aneem needs to take a little half a step back here, get a bit of space so he can get some leverage on his shot, see where he's throwing his punches. There you go, that's good for Arthur, though, tying him up. Clinging on, holding on, stifling Aneem's work and a half smile to his corner to tell them he's okay, but he takes another big right hand from the Ghanaian. This is a bad round for Lyndon oh, Arthur. Good chopping right hand there from Aneem as well. Came so close to being fouled and he's cut. He's cut as well. Oh, oh, it's a bad one. Blood spurting out above the left eye. With that over right, over right hand there. From Aneem. He can't miss with it. He brings the head down low into the chest or the chin of Arthur and throws that right hand over the guard. Well, if you'd taken a spread bet on this, on the length of the fight, you'd have said, in all probability, it's going to be over quick time. But we've got another real swing here in the eighth round. The fourth round was a huge round for Arthur. He dominated then. Now Aneem with a big, Ooh. big round here and a punch thrown after the referee had called break. With a big round here, Aneem right back in the fight. Big round. It really was a big round. So, 10-9 round or 10-8 round? Oh, still a 10-9 for me. OK, so the gap narrows, but only by one point as we move into the ninth. That's how Barry's got it, as close as that. And four rounds still to go. It's still very much in the balance. Ooh. Solid right hand from Arthur. Aneem took it well, though. How much has Aneem gambled with that huge onslaught in the eighth? How much does he take now to himself? Yeah, we'll tell, time will tell now, because he needs to, for me, what, what is it? there's a chance that Arthur might just be a little bit struggling for pace and looking steady on his legs, you need to jump on him now and see that. We'll find out. Arthur, as we've said, is a pro in uncharted territory, he's never been as far as this in the paid ranks before, here That's in the ninth round. It's good from Arthur, a little stalking, a little feint with the feet, just little feints. It's a nice jab. Done a good job with the damaged left eye on the face of Lyndon Arthur. Certainly been plenty of blood around in this contest, <laughs> yeah. for those who like that sort of thing. Yeah. 
Good shot. Good round so far, this for Lyndon Arthur. Ooh, good little cut there from Arthur as well. Got a bit, bit of rhythm to his work here, Lyndon Arthur. So be careful with that low left hand, though. Make sure the feet are bringing him out far enough. Good shot. Oh, there's that right hand again. And again, he's feeling the weight of these Aneem as the blood flows from the damaged left eye once more. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful shot, when a real long, great shot. long right hand. Pretty much all Lyndon Arthur in this round so far. 30 seconds to go. Oh, again, lovely uppercut. It all works off the jab, though. I say it all the time in almost every fight, but it's true. It all works off that when he throws that jab, it just disguises or just keeps him a little bit busy when he then he can throw that right uppercut. And as I suspected, I think Aineem put so much into that eighth round that he has not been able to build on that. You see it in fights. And that's a big round for Lyndon Arthur, and well done. Can he rally now? Arthur, we have a head in this fight. By a couple of points, three rounds remaining. trying to get onto the front foot, trying to apply a bit of pressure. I'm sure his corner must have told him, you've taken a round off, it's got to be you from here on. And to be fair, Arthur, Arthur he dropped most of that, he used the footwork just to take little steps back and using the forearm and the, and the shoulders to deflect some of those shots. Oh, good right hand there from Anim again. Here he comes again, and Arthur needs to ride this out. Left hook in there, caught, caught Arthur there, but he's leaning back on the ropes. A lot of Manchester supporters in the arena tonight for Lyndon Arthur, and they'll have been distinctly worried at times in this contest. They'll be a little bit busy now, Arthur, because... All you remember so far for this halfway through the round is that uh, solid attack and good shot there from Anim. Mm, on anxious, uh, on thin ice there, giving him a real telling off there. The last thing Arthur needs is points deducted at this stage. Anim low and Arthur saying he can do nothing about it. Referee allowing him to box his way out of that. Oh, good right hand, Aneem. And again, that's that low left hand, it invites it, doesn't it? He stays low and throws it over the top every time. It's a good jab there from Aneem. Close round, and Aneem has certainly rallied again here. Oh, good left hook there, though, from Arthur in close. Produced a little bit of space for that. Aneem staying right on top of him, though. Very scrappy here in the 10th, both men fatigued, of course. Didn't quite connect with that other cut there, Aneem. Well, close round, this one. And rounds like that so important in the scoring of a fight. Did Aneem do enough to narrow the gap? He did for me, John. I just think, again, it was a close round, and no out of him with the jab, but the, the quality of the work and the, and the power of the shots came from Aneem for me. And only two rounds remaining. Stamina absolutely key now.
Arthur trying to keep him at range, trying to work off the jab. What Martha's got when he throws that jab, he's already looking to step back, so he, he loses a little bit of maybe weight on the shot, a little bit of distance as well. But it, it almost invites the guy to, to follow you after you, after the, when the jab's coming back. Aineem rushing in, but illegally so, and despite the pressure, has not really landed too much in this round so far. Now it's Arthur covering up, trying to tie his man up. Neither of them with too much space to work. He doesn't need to be there, Arthur. Push him back with this long, straight shot. Too many clean shots landed in this round so far, Barry. Referee's been just about the busiest man. I said that stage now, they're both, both tired, and they? There's been a couple of grueling rounds of late. And, of course, still, both of these lads can dig. One mistake, one opening. Could still swing it. That's a good right hand from Aineem. It's Arthur who's holding on now. Tight round, Barry. It is, and that, that right hand might be literally be the only shot that, that you can score as a landing shot. It's the only really significant shot. Got the physique of a Dennis Andrews, hasn't he, Emmanuel Laney? <laughs> and uh, the referee having a bit of a chat and it's possibly too late in the day for them to change the pattern now yeah. it's established and it's going to go all the way to the final round how on earth do you score that well i tell you what at times this fight has hardly been a thing of beauty but it's been dramatic and it might be going all the way and this last round who knows it might be decisive it has been a tough tough fight here we go last three minutes And there's been a couple of rounds like the last round where almost not really much happened. There's not a lot of clean punches to, to, to pick from, so you could have it. No, I, I, the judges' cars, cars might be a little bit conflicting. All three of them from different angles are looking at that, looking at the fight. Good right hand there from Anim. And it might have. Uh, I mean, Arthur. It was a bit subjective, wasn't it? The one punch, you know, that Arthur, apart from that, was working as hard as Anim. Yeah. It's that sort of a round, and sometimes they can be so important in the scoring of a fight. Nice up cut there from Arthur. He needs to get the space, get his hands going on. So who's going to take this Commonwealth title? Aneem still on the front foot, still trying to bully Arthur, trying to turn it into a brawl in these last couple of minutes. And that's been one of the errors here from Arthur, having the hands low too close to the target, and that's all they need to throw that right hand over the top. Oh, it's nice, lovely, lovely combination. Right up with a left hook from Arthur. That's a little injection of pace there. We needed some more of that. He needs to win this last round, Barry. And he's just... 
finding a way to outwork the Ghanaian. Well, yeah, he is, but a good left hook to the body there from Anin. Felton's need, as well. He needs to let his hands go now, Anin. I think Arthur felt the weight of that body shot. Complaining again to the referee. Good jab. A little feint he needs. Arthur, before he throws that now. He's, he's looking at the counter, isn't he? He's winning this last round, Barry. But if it is key, then he's doing what's required. And he's got to pull the trigger now. He's got to gamble now here. Got to be feeling he's becoming second best in this round. Good round for Lyndon Arthur. He's dug in deep and he thinks he's won it. Aneem thinks he's won it. To me, I think Lyndon Arthur has perhaps just about shaded that one and might be the champion. Barry's got it just to Lyndon Arthur, I think. You gave yes, him that last yeah, round. No, yeah, I did. I think he, he landed with a better work. I think Aneem didn't really do enough. But for me, I still think I think Arthur's won, and it's a great. And again, his first step up, it was a hard, a hard scrap for him. A great test, a fight that he'll learn from. But and he showed there, he showed some quality. That was early in the round there, making a oh, nice uppercut, missing with the left hook, and making, and he missed quite easily. And it was the busier fight that finished the fight. But I think if he would have come out earlier, after sort of two or three rounds, having a look at the name, and pushed him back with that jab, and being the one who was who was, who was coming forward behind long punches. That could have been an easier night's work for Lyndon Arthur. Had to show some real fighting spirit, did Lyndon Arthur. Surrendered those early rounds, yeah, and my goodness, didn't he need that knockdown in the fourth to get him back in? No, he did, but he, but he got it, though. He, he, he needed it, and he, and he got what he needed. You know, and I think that, that was the turning point for him, because then he went on a run of, of winning a, a, maybe two or three, maybe four rounds after that. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Phil Edwards scores it 115 to 112. Judge Bob Williams scores it 117 to 110. And Judge Steve Gray scores it 117 to 111. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Champion, Lyndon King Arthur! Brave effort from Emmanuel Aneem, but Lyndon Arthur gets the success that he craved, and he really didn't know. He was shutting his eyes, waiting, 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 and you could see the look of relief and delight when he won his first major belt, the Commonwealth Light Heavyweight title. It goes back to Mostyn in Manchester. But what a tough night's work that was.